Hello there guys, welcome to uh, Warren's Model Aircraft in the Eagle's Nest. Um, I'm just doing a box review on the Messerschmitt 109 that I'm doing for the um, Battle of Britain group build. So I thought I'd give you a show inside of the box and I've already started on the engine block so I thought I'd give you a sneaky peek at that. So I'll have a look at these parts first. Right, I'm gonna have to get out of the thing here because I'm causing shadows. Right. Zoom in. There we go, I've done the, uh, as you can see, I've done the engine block. I've assembled quite a bit of the engine block already. <coughs> Yeah, I've, st I've stuck these in two halves, I've glued them together and put that on, obviously same the other side, I've had to obviously glue these two halves together, I've had to stick that on and then these these bits here, you have to stick that on, that on and that on and also you have to stick this on here, which I've done. <coughs> I've sanded and trimmed the propeller and primed it and I've also primed that as well that was actually primed that was actually primed with the um, Hummel spray can primer which is absolutely brilliant the only thing is it costs about eight quid a can and it doesn't last that long um, I do recommend that and I also recommend the Hummel primer what's in the tin that you mix mix up with thinners and put it in your airbrush that's well it's the same stuff really it's just that you've got to mix it and thin it down and that does last a lot longer than the can but this stuff creased i had to use it because i ran out of primer humble primer and i used this stuff and it is absolutely shite i would not recommend it to anybody um it seems to go on with a rubbery texture if you put any tamiya tape on to mask anything up it pulls it pulls it off it comes off like rub like skin it just peels off um also it blocks your airbrush up to fuck every time i use it it blocks it up and then i went on and it happened last night so i had to clean all my airbrush out um and then i went on to youtube and um went on to storms webs on um, storm site and he actually said a couple of days ago that he's having the same problem with this stuff. It keeps blocking his airbrush up. So I would not bother with it. The only good thing about this is it's pre-mixed. You just shake it and put it in. But it causes that much problems. So I do not recommend this. Right. So back onto the group build. Yeah, propeller's done. it's in here it's gone tight for some reason I'll we'll have to sort that out obviously that goes in there I've done that, that and that um, but I'm dropping everything out I've done that for the back goes on the back of the propeller Some nice little detail on it, and I've also done the nose cone that's been sanded down and primed. I don't know why, but my, this has gone to two megapixels for some reason. I know what's going on there? All right, I was going to start to um, airbrush this black tonight but I've been putting my kids bunk beds up and I've had to tidy the rooms up so I'm not doing it um, I thought I'd just do the box review instead so if I use this bench I can get the stuff out Right. So 
how this works then. This should do the trick. As you can see the the panel lines are really good. You can see that perfectly from there though. Panel lines good. Highly recommend this kit. Get my head out. Shadows. There we have these large section. This is still zoomed in, you know. There we go. Very good kit, to be honest. I'm going to turn this thing around because I can't do it like this. Right. I'm going to see the detail better now. There's the pilot. Which I'm not going to use. I never use the pilots. Never do. I don't know why. Because I used to, what actually started me off in modelling was doing the figures years ago. Desert rats and all that sort of thing. The, the detail on some of this cockpit stuff is brilliant. For that. There's the seat upside down. There's parts of the cockpit. There's the other part there. There we have the machine guns there. Very detailed they are. There you go. I paid £38 for this kit and the detail on it is brilliant. Panel lines are awesome, detail is bang on, you get rubber tyres with it as well, you get a stand, you won't get that with a Tamiya kit. There's the panel lines on there. Look at that, look at those panel lines on there, absolutely awesome. So that's the undercarriage. Wing. Here we have the top side of the wing. And the colour I'm going to do it in. You bear with me for a moment. Oh, I'll show you the cup. So you can see through the bag. Oh, you can. Some parts there. I'm going to do it in. Is it on this box? No, it's on this one, so I'm going to have to show you. I'm going to be doing this one. That's the one I'm going to be doing in. In that, in that baby. Right. Right. Thanks for watching, boys. Um, hope you join in with the Battle of Britain um, group build. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.